So now moving on to step seven. Um, this one's basically really similar to the 32-bit uh, version. Um, basically, we just need to find our value, find out what's changing it, and stop it from subbing by one, and make it increase or uh, add two instead. Um, we could also reverse it a little bit more and see if we can't figure out where the check is and change that. Um, it just kind of depends on what we find and how we want to do this. So we'll make sure we get these set back right. I do believe it's an integer. So that looks like that's our value there. Let's go ahead and find out what access is this. Okay, so we do got one check going on. This is probably more the compiler check to make sure we don't go under zero. Um, cheat engine may be doing something too there. Kind of depends. Um, this on the 32-bit version was what we actually ended up modifying. Um, of course, here we can kind of start in this next instruction and follow it down and see if we can figure out where the check is. pulls it again and then basically what this one is doing is I can't remember what the instruction is actually stands for but basically it's it's moving um, a D word into a Q word and it's extending the sign um, I think it's sign extend I can't remember if that D stands for something but anyway um, so that way it would actually check yeah, and so it looks like we have our old value maybe, and this might actually be a part of this might be our check here. To where it's actually checking if it's plus two or not. Um, thus kind of showing us that it would actually fail if we added three or five or some other number and increased it by that. It's explicitly checking to see if we're plus two. Go ahead and check that. So 64 is 100. So yeah, it's each time it's it's two plus our current value. Um, and but the reason why that looks so funky, I guess I should explain that. Um, is that is load effective address. So instead of actually reading the value at that address it just adds these two you can actually use that to do some simple math um, even throw in some multiplication it can't get too complicated but for some simple stuff uh, compilers will compile it that way just to make it look better and so our actual value is that what shows up as the address even though it's not an actual address but it's just um, our e RAX plus two Now, I'll close that back out. Um, so basically, jump if not equal. So when it's not equal, it's actually jumping down here. We already kind of saw this is in fact execute. We can double check that. So that's where our instruction is going. So here we could actually just no op out this, and this will get us passed on this section. So let's just set up a script to do that. Um, I've been keep I've been kept on telling you to um, do the cheat it, cheat table framework and then do a full injection or an AOB injection um, on older v versions that was necessary but I think actually with this one we don't have to do that with um, I, I want to say it was at point, uh, 6 point 6.7 but it might have might just be this 6.8.3 I really don't remember step seven yeah so we've got our framework here um, so let's go ahead and throw that in our preferred text editor um, and then this one again we don't need a lot of this stuff we're just going to be doing a couple no ops add a byte no uh, 
no, um, I like to move stuff around and be a little different. Um, again, it's not necessary in the least bit, but if it's what you want to do, then go ahead and do it. If not, then just leave it the default way. Um, and on all honesty, to simplify things, I actually don't generally do this manually. I have some Lewis scripts I've written up to generate my own templates. Um, probably be using that at some point here in the future. Uh, maybe even go over how to create your own Lua module to do something similar if that's what you want to do. Um, at the very least, I'll likely make sure I give access to those. So if you want to keep going along directly with me, you can as well. Um, probably even this do have all this stuff posted in different places but I'll make sure to show that way you can even if you want to use sublime text and use this um, syntax checking like I've got it set up um, those are ones I've had to modify myself so this should actually get us past um, you don't need to deallocate or allocate So this should get us past on step seven. Um, let's go ahead and see if we're doing this right or if I'm thinking wrong. Yeah, so there we go. So we're still decreasing the value again but it's just it thinks that it's the check is working out right it thinks we're equal to two plus whatever the last value was before it decreases it um, i'm going to move on to step set um step eight now 